Welcome to the Voice of C38 Untapped. I am your host, Brendan Wyatt. Today, I am at Barnett and Son Brewery, joined by John, the photographer guy, <laughs> as I can spit it out. Yes, part of C38 uh, Junior Board. <laughs> and I am joined by Darren Basley. <laughs> Bays. Bays. So if you think Bays, Bays, and then Bays. I'm joined by Darren Basley, <laughs> assistant coach. <laughs> Officially of the Colorado Rapids. Thank Welcome to much. have you. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah, good afternoon. Before we get into your coaching career, yeah, you were a player. Ten years of uh, Wofford. Baron Baisley. Yeah, it feels like a long time ago. Doesn't it? Yeah. 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 So, spending ten years there, you were signed at 14, and, and there's a bit of a, a way to go through that. But if you had any advice to Jack Price leaving your homegrown club, what would it be? Ah, uh, you know. I spent a few years at Wolverhampton Wanderers and uh, it's a great club, you know, but, you know, I think it's exciting for him, you know, it's an exciting league, MLS is, you know, is really putting itself on the map now and um, he's a very good player and I'm expecting him to have, a, you know, some really great years here with us. And you did just mention that you also played at Wolves, so there's yeah. a nice little bit of a tie there. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how would you compare championship to MLS, even though maybe you haven't yep. really partaken in a lot of MLS matches, yep. from what you've seen, how would you compare the leagues? I mean, the, the championships, you know, it's a, a very good league, very strong league, very competitive, big clubs in there. Um, like you say, I, I am new to MLS, but, you know, I've been watching from a distance. I've watched, I've got some friends coaching the, in the league, and, and I know it's it's just growing and growing, going from strength to strength, and um, it's an exciting league. Uh, it's really, you know, I'm very excited to, to be involved. You know, as the new players are, you know, and um, hopefully we can bring success to the club and, and you know, have a, a great experience. Great. Yeah. What do we got? Some oh, yeah. Beers? yeah. All right. So the beer, beer section here. Uh, we, on the left, we have our Belgian wit. It's a really nice, crisp wit. So, uh, cheers. Cheers. Can, uh, cheers. Yeah, I won't cheers. reach across again. Yeah. <laughs> Just fill all the beer. Nice. Uh, yeah. That's a nice light beer. Considering we are uh, drinking beer on a almost 70 degree sunny afternoon in February. Yeah. What a beautiful day. It's, yeah, this is, uh, it is. It's going to be out. like four degrees on, <laughs> on is it tomorrow and Tuesday. Yeah, yeah I'm hearing <laughs> it's going to pack in. Yeah. It's yeah. going to get scary, but uh, moving on to a little bit of more uh, footy. Hmm. You've been uh, working with Coach Hudson in the past. When did that start for you? Um, so I, I've been in New Zealand for the last 12 years, um, coaching you know, with the international teams and you know, they, they changed their head coach of the national team, the All Whites is what they're called and um, Anthony was given that job maybe about three and a half years ago now. So you know, he came in and, and that was when I, I met him, um, you know, started working with him, really enjoyed working with him and, uh, and sort of have been in that space for the last three or four years. Like working, working really closely in that in that sort of international space. So at that time, were you the assistant coach of the club, or were you a head coach of a youth team? So what I was, was your position uh, with yeah. New Zealand? So I was the oh, yeah, I was the under twenty head coach for the national team, um, and I'm sort of working in and out of the the first team at the time. Um, and then when Anthony came in, he obviously came in and, and brought some of his own staff in as well. And then uh, so I kept working. What what we were doing, we were trying to Anthony's whole uh, program was about aligning the international teams, the under 17s, the under 20s and the senior team to play the same, have the same program uh, philosophies and um, style of play. Um, so I worked really closely with Anthony and the under 20s to make sure that we were aligned closely with, with the senior team. To do that I was able to be involved with the senior team as well so it worked really well. Um, you know, we had a lot of success of players coming out of the under 20 program and, and jumping straight into the senior team because you know, they'd had experience of the training and the style of play and, and we had some good players. So, yeah, it's been I mean, it was, it was a great experience, you know, um, working in international football. You know, had some, some good times, had some good tours and you know, I, I got to go to five World Cups and Confederations Cup and, um, you know, but the, the draw to be back involved in, in club football is, is exciting. What else do we got for beer? So, uh, we are going to go on to the Irish Red Ale. Yeah, Shusha uh, Irish Red Ale. It's a bit darker. Cheers. Cheers. It's just Cheers. a good red. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, that is nice. good. Yeah. Nice. That is a Irish Red different. Ale. Different. Very different. 
Yeah. yeah, yeah, different from the way. How long have you been in Colorado? Yeah. So um, I arrived sort of towards the end of January, so just over three weeks now. But um, I actually arrived in Denver for, uh, and I spent about 12 hours here, and then we traveled straight to Casa Grande in down in Arizona. And we were there for 10 days, and then we came back. And I think I spent three days in Denver, and then we went again. Um, and we had 10 days down in Tucson. Uh, and then we got back yesterday. So I, I've literally, I feel like I feel like I've been with the club for three or four months. You know, <laughs> everyone's made me feel really welcome, and, and, and it's been great. But I've actually only been in Denver about four days. Yeah. Right. So, well, so that was actually, as I'm listening to yeah. it, one of the questions I was say, as a player, does this take you back a little bit because you've been traveling a bit, you haven't quite been yeah. home. It's not so bad, really, is it? Well, you know, it sort of takes me back to what we've been doing the last three or four years with uh, international football and, okay. and going on tours. And, you know, we, we had a lot of sort of 10-day tours. So the last month has, has been what we've been used to. What I'm looking forward to now is, is getting into the daily routine, you know, the game, the training at home, away game, come back, recover, training, analysis, and getting into a, a routine here. So, uh, what, I mean, it's been great because, you know, while we've been away, we've spent... You know, 24 hours together as, as a squad so got to know the staff got to know the players um, been really valuable period of you know, pre-season for us would you say that maybe that could be an easy selling point to bringing a player here is you have the potential to be a top player in MLS mm. where maybe you might not be say Premier yeah. or I mean, Spanish League somewhere else <laughs> kind of. yeah every, every player has probably got their own reasons for, for wanting a move you know um some players you know, need a new change, need a new start. Uh, you know, that, but there's a lot of players now that are, are being scouted and, and actually signed for this league. So they're they're the players that you know are going to make this league stronger, and um, you know, not the players that are sort of looking for somewhere to play now. And, you know, it's, it's an exciting period of time, I think, and you know, it's just going to go up and up. Right. So let me ask you as a coach, because yeah. you know this more than anybody. Players play with a certain kind of system. Like, as a fan, we can all say, hey, this type of player will be great, but they may not be. The system that the Rapids are kind of running, you're familiar with, obviously, you know, coming along with Coach Hutchins, there's going to be certain players out there that'll fit this system. And it's only a matter of time if we need to bring anybody else in. But as far as who we have, this is a system that no one else has really kind of seen, is it not? Well, you know, I think there's... There's a few teams playing it, um, three five two. Um, hopefully, you know the way we're going to try and implement and deliver the style of play will, will be slightly different. And, I mean, a lot of players can fit the system. You know, there are some specialist positions, but you know, most footballers are, are able to be coached uh, and understand what's needed from them in and out of possession. You know, so it's not necessarily picking a player that can play that system. I, I think it's it's getting good players with good habits and. And, and good physique and, and you know being able to play football and being able to perform certain things that then they, they're the players, they'll fit the system right. and, and unfortunately for players that don't, they won't play, you know, so if I was a player I'd be making sure that I fit the system <laughs> and that I understand the style of play and what's, want, you know, what's needed from me because footballers want to play, you know, else why, why would you be a footballer? No, perfect, because that's really kind of the message that we should help deliver to the fans. Yeah. Like, if, you, if your player ain't playing, there's there's something else there that you yeah. might need to yeah. take into account. <laughs> yeah. right. Ready for some, a little bit of the darker? So this moving on quick, look, I'm, not, I'm a bit slow. <laughs> We're just editing. That's, that's, yeah. So we have here a blood orange stout. Oh, blood yeah. orange stout. We're yep. getting fruity with our beer. Wow, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. I wouldn't have thought we went fruity with our beer. It's, like, it's light yet dark. It's almost kind of like if you've been on a piece of chocolate that had orange in it. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. Yeah, I will say that. Much. Definitely. Mm. Speaking of different, as we were kind of talking yeah. about it, has there been any other team in this league that maybe plays a formation or a style that you feel would be comparable to what the Rapids might be doing? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's diff- difficult for me to say right now, having not been here last season. Uh, but I know a few clubs have, have tinkered with that style of play. And, you know, Toronto were very successful um, playing three at the back. 
but they've got some very good players <laughs> and, and dominated from, from the game for from a last year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think, you know, there's, again, from what I've been told, three or four clubs you know, played, played the system you know, in and out of the season last year. So, I mean, in the world, some, you know, a lot of teams have, have, are trying it. A lot of teams are sort of moving towards it. And, um, but there's, there's even with just that shape, there's different ways of playing that formation. So, you know, ultimately players, players, players will perform um, and, and it's not shapes. But what we're trying to do is get players into certain positions so they can affect the game. Uh, positively, you know, and hopefully that's what we'll produce. And, and one of the reasons I, I ask that is I'm kind of getting there because <laughs> you as a player, you played as a right back or on the right side, and right yeah. midfield, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you were even deemed by at Walsall as one of the best attacking yeah. players they ever had as far as what comes out of the very nice of them so. to say that. <laughs> Would you say that kind of what you can bring to the club is, is yeah. an attacking mentality that maybe hasn't been there coming out of the back? Yeah, yeah definitely. You know, uh, I was a, a winger slash forward growing up. That That's ended good news. up. That's good news. <laughs> <laughs> that ended up being a sort of defender, but I was an attack-minded defender, and you know, we need to. I mean, we need to be organised in both areas, defence and attack, obviously. Yeah. And, uh, but you know we'll, we'll be looking to be positive this season. You know, attack minded. We want to score goals, but we also want to make sure that we're we're safe and that we're organised behind the ball, um, and, and that we give ourselves a chance to win games. Right, and and when it comes to Coach Hudson and obviously the history that you guys have had, yep. and you're the guy he brought with him. Yeah. <laughs> would you say that both of you guys kind of share that that mentality of, of what you want to do moving forward, and it has yeah. to do a bit with. Moving forward, definitely, yeah. I mean, he, you know, I've worked really closely with Anthony, and um, I sort of know, I know how he works. I know what he's looking for, and how he wants to try and set the whole culture. I mean, it's, it's sort of having this club now is an opportunity to to really create, you know, not just the playing style and, and the the philosophy, but the whole culture around the team and the club. You know, it, there's been a lot of work done behind the scenes to. To get everybody moving in the right direction, it was a really exciting time for the club. Um, the front office have been great. You know, they've got the vision, um, which ties in exactly with what um, the gaffer wants, Anthony. So you know, it just seems to be the perfect fit with the front office, the club, the new philosophy, Anthony's philosophy. Um, you know, it's, it's the staff, the players, we're all we're all heading in the right direction, the same direction. And uh, you know, like I say, hopefully uh, the end result will be results. Uh, and some success, uh, you know, and hopefully we, we give the fans something to cheer about this season. Yeah, yeah, we're looking forward to it. So I guess we'll uh, go for the last one. Um, <laughs> this is a good one because it's a Centennial IPA Say for what? Centennial 38. So cheers. 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 We're cheers, glad guys. to have you. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> My favorite brew of the brewery so far. Yeah. You've tried this one, have you? <laughs> I like that. Very we nice. were not here <laughs> drinking beer prior for you. Not know. at all. <laughs> <laughs> if you had one message yeah. to deliver to the fans going forward into this season, yeah. new club, new faces, new mentality, new formation, yeah. everything is new. Scrape away all of that. What would be your message uh, as far as just... Yeah. Here we are. Yeah, I mean, we, we need support. You know, we need support. So it's not all going to be, you know, um, straight sailing. You know, we're going to have some tough times as well. We're, what, you know, as we go through these periods of, you know, getting uh, getting performance right. So, you know, as all clubs, we, we need strong support behind us for the players. You know, so when they're going through tough periods, you know, the fans can really get behind them and, and push them through. And then, you know, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be giving them some some great great moments through this season and moving forward. You know, we. It's out there now that we want to become a playoff team, you know, year in, year out, and, and bring success back to the club. You know, you've had, you, there's been success here, right? and I'm sure the fans want that back. Uh, you know, so, you know, that's our goal. You know, we're here to work as hard as we can to bring that to the club, bring that for the fans. Um, but we need their help as well. Yeah, it's not, it's not suddenly going to happen. Um, but hopefully, you'll see see some changes early. Um, you know, and as we go. 
early on in the season. Hopefully we'll iron things out and, and we'll start to get our performances as early as we can. And hopefully then results will, results will come. Couldn't be more comfortable going into this season with awesome. what this club has done moving forward. It's, as a fan and a supporter, it's been great. And I can't be more excited. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. No, thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah. Cheers. Cool. Cheers. Thank, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Cheers. I'll, I'll, I'll pick one up. I might go back to the first one. I might go back to the first one. Cheers. 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 Uh, thank, Cheers. You thank you. Thank you to Barnett and Son. Uh, they're part of our growler program. So thank you for hosting us. Get your beer here. Yep. Thank you. Get the growler.